Currently, many species are endangered. Lynxes, mountain gorillas, monarch butterflies, polar bears, and even giraffes. However, in the same way tragic events happen on our planet, incredibly good things can also occur, such as the discovery of some animal species considered to be extinct. The Solenodon, ancient horse breeds, the Coelacanth, these are 10 extinct animals that are still alive. Number 10. The Bermuda Petrel This beautiful bird, which spends most of its life soaring through the sky and always near the sea, became a legend when it was thought to be extinct. When Columbus sailed around Bermuda in 1492, it was estimated that half a million pairs of Bermuda petrels nested all over the archipelago. Even so, due to human activity and the eventual arrival of new predators like dogs, cats, and pigs, these birds began to disappear, forcing them to move to remote cliffs and offshore islets. But the good news is that, 330 years after their alleged extinction, they have been seen again. They were rediscovered in 1951 in Castle Harbor Inlets, Florida. Only 36 Bermuda petrels were spotted. Nowadays, the Bermuda petrel population has grown to a total of more than 180, which has allowed naturalists and conservationists to start up important conservation projects to protect these stunning birds. Number 9. The Caspian Horse The Caspian Horse is believed to be one of the oldest horses in the world, as its story goes back to 3000 BC, on the Caspian coast to be precise. They are a true miniature horse, with the morphological and genetic traits of a horse rather than a pony, whose strong and agile body made them perfect to be used as packed animals and even as a means of transportation. Long presumed extinct, their population was small and in dire straits when Louis Ferrou, an American-born breeder of Iranian horses, rediscovered them. She was living in Iran and searching for children's ponies for her riding school when she found these small, refined, oriental-type horses in the Elbers region above the Caspian Sea. Naming them for the region, she spent the rest of her life researching, identifying, breeding and advocating for Caspian horses. Today, these odd miniature horses can be found all over the world, including the United States and England. Number 8. Chacoan Peccary this South American mammal, similar to a wild boar, was first described from pre-Hispanic and fossil remains by Carlos Rusconi in his book, Argentine Fossil Species of Peccaries, Tayasui Day, and their relationships with those of Brazil and North America in 1930. It was believed to be an extinct species, but in 1974, zoologist Ralph Wetzel found this animal alive in the Argentine Chaco. Nowadays, about 3,000 Chacoan peccaries live on our planet. Number 7. Colacanth Fish The primitive-looking colacanth is a true living fossil that, up until now, keeps on swimming in our seas. All that was known about it belonged to the Cretaceous period, since there were only records of these species from fossils. Fortunately, in 1938, Marjorie Courtney Latimer, a South African museum curator fascinated the world. On a local fishing trawler, she found out an incredible prehistoric-looking creature with thick scales, bizarre find, and lobe of more than one caudal fin. Although she didn't know at the moment, she had discovered the colacanth fish, which was thought to have gone extinct with the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. Apparently, this animal had managed to survive the passage of time in the depths of the ocean, undisturbed and invisible, for millennia. Number 6. The Solnodon This tiny mammal, relative of shrews, lived more than 60 million years ago, but today it can be found on the islands of Cuba, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic. Solnodons are some of the most unique and rare mammals in the world, since they have a venomous bite. They run on their toes, going in a zigzag curse, and the female has its mammary glands near the tail. 
This small mouse with a large and flexible snout is another living fossil. It was believed to be extinct 60 million years ago, but it was rediscovered just a couple of decades ago. Thanks to the research of the Dominican biologist Jose Alberto Odenwalder, it was confirmed that several specimens of this strange animal still live in small and scattered groups. Number 5. Gilbert's Paturo or Ngilcat Gilbert's Paturo is Australia's most endangered marsupial and one of the world's rarest critically endangered mammals. It was discovered in 1841 and disappeared 38 years later. In the early 20th century, this marsupial species was thought to be completely extinct, until a research team conducting a study on another rather curious marsupial, the Quokus, accidentally caught a pair of Gilbert Spaturos in their traps. After several examinations and studies where both animals were compared to recorded fossils, researchers concluded that these species had been rediscovered. As previously stated, Paturo's population is critically endangered and there are fewer than a hundred specimens all over the world. Number 4. La Gomera Giant Lizard Also known as Lagarto Gomero, this lizard is just one of the numerous attractions of the Spanish island of La Gomera, one of the Canary Islands. A few years ago, it was believed that this giant lizard was extinct, since the species was originally described from fossil remains which gave us important information about it. For instance, we could know that in the past, this lizard measured more than one meter long. However, in 1999, a team of zoologists from the University of La Laguna rediscovered this incredible animal thanks to the testimonies of some neighbors of Valigran Ray, who assured that they had seen them again. Today, the number of Lagomera giant lizards bred in captivity has increased to more than 400 specimens and to top it off, it is believed that there are also about 300 more living in their natural habitat. That's why the situation of these species is now much more hopeful. Number 3. The Madagascan Serpent Eagle the Madagascan Serpent Eagle is another of the most amazing birds on the planet. A medium-sized raptor with a long, rounded tail and short, rounded wings, which was also believed to be extinct. It is dark gray on its back and a lighter gray on its belly, breast and throat. This eagle was rediscovered in 1993 by chance when scientist Russell Thornstrom went for a walk in a forest one morning and heard the calling of an unknown bird. He suddenly grabbed his binoculars and there it was, a living Madagascan serpent eagle. Nowadays, fewer than a thousand individuals live in the evergreen and broadleaves forests of the northwestern and central eastern Madagascar. Number 2. The Takahi The South Island Takahi is an endemic bird to New Zealand. It really looks like a hen but its color ranges from an iridescent dark blue on the head, neck and breast, and peacock blue shoulders to an olive green and blue black and wings. Just like hands, they are completely flightless. Takahi once roamed across the South Island, but pressures from hunting, introduced predators, habitat destruction, and competition for food led to their decline. After being presumed extinct for nearly 50 years, the Takahi was famously rediscovered in 1948. Jeffrey Orbell, a physician from Inver Cargill and his party, found the last remaining wild population of the bird high in the tussock grasslands of the remote Murkison Mountains above Lake Tianao, Fjordland. However, the number of individuals has not stopped decreasing, and for this reason, the current situation of this bird is worrying. According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, the South Island Takahi is, one more time, endangered. Number 1. Worcester's Bottom Quail Despite its name, Worcester's Bottom Quail is a species of bird in the family Ternicidae. It is endemic to the island of Luzon in the Philippines, and it is characterized for being a shabby bird with short beak and tail, very similar to a quail. It is named after American zoologist Dean Conan Worcester. 
It was believed to be extinct until a team of Philippine ornithologists found a specimen in a poultry market in the Caraballo mountain range on the island of Luzon. It was about to be cooked, as it was for sale as just another chicken. At that moment, Worcester's bottom quail was only known through drawings and dead specimens preserved in museums, since no one in the last century had managed to see one alive. In fact, after being spotted, information about this bird has not been shared. Besides, there is hardly any record of the number of specimens that are still alive today. When we talk about extinct animals, our mind automatically goes back to the dinosaurs era and other prehistoric creatures alike. That is why we tend to link them with fossils and cave paintings. Lucky for us, some of these animals have survived long enough to be filmed. They may no longer be in this world, but seeing the pictures or videos where they appear can make us remember what we lost. If you want to know more about these stories, do not miss our next video.